The San Diego Union Tribune reports today that San Diego County's median home price is up over $672,000, which is an all time high. Prices have increased nearly 15% over the past year. Interest rates are low and so is supply. So what does that mean if you're looking to buy right now? We are joined by Matt Battiata of the Battiata Real Estate and EXP Realty of California. You may have seen their ads right here on CBS 8. First of all, Matt, good afternoon. Thank you so much for your time. Hey, happy to be here. Thank you. All right, let's just talk about what's going on in the market right now. First of all, extremely low inventory, but homes are selling for prices that many of us can't even believe. In your opinion, is this all due to low interest rates? It's due to low interest rates, and it's also due, like you mentioned, to really, really low inventory. If you can imagine, our normal low inventory in San Diego County is about 100,000 homes on the market at any given time. Right now, we have about 30,000. So we have about two-thirds less inventory than we normally have. And that, along with low interest rates, and then uh, a lot of people moving into San Diego from other parts of the country, like the Bay Area, New York, et cetera, because they can all work remotely due to the pandemic. Um, so that's like a perfect storm right now. And what do you attribute to that low inventory? Because when people see what they could potentially sell their house for, why aren't they taking advantage of that? Well, because they, you know, most of our clients that we're seeing selling right now are moving out of San Diego. Mm -hmm. They're moving to Texas, they're moving to Idaho. Um, because like, just like you, the, the problem is the average person says, I could sell my house for a fortune, but where am I gonna go? I can't afford to buy anything. Right. So that, and of course, you know, the pandemic, I think people, don't want to necessarily be moving. They don't want to have lots of people coming through their home. So all those things are adding together to make the inventory really low. I mean, this is totally unprecedented. I've been selling real estate in San Diego for 21 years. I've never, ever seen inventory this low. So how do you tell your buyers not to get discouraged? What needs to sort of crack here so more buyers can be able to afford some of these homes? Well, you know, the, the thing that's really important is when you when you see it, if you're a buyer in this market and you see a house that you really like, there's a couple of things you need to do. Number one, you got to have a good agent representing you who can direct you. But I mean, um, in a nutshell, you got to make a really strong offer. You got to find out what the seller is looking for and then give it to them if they want to rent back and so forth. You've got to make a strong initial offer. And then I think it's really smart to include an escalation clause. Um, because it hopefully will give you the first right of refusal. Um, but you have to do all those things. Um, it's not easy, and it's it, there are buyers getting discouraged for sure. And what do you see? And I know you don't have a crystal ball, and I'm sure this irritates you to get a question like this, but six, 12 months down the line of this year into next year, what are you seeing? What What is your sort of forecast in the real estate market? You know, it's very tough to say. We're, I mean, I would say we're due for a correction, but, you know, this the pandemic has has throwing everything upside down. So whereas normally I would tell you for, you know, I, I would think we're due for a correction. I really don't know because I don't think this is sustainable, put it that way. So if, if you're interested in selling your home right now is a great time to do it because the market, this is, this is like 2004, but even worse, you know, 2004, we, it was a frenzy. And we're in a frenzy right now, yeah, for it, sure. It's a seller's market. You get to name the terms, name your price and chances are you'll get it. Matt Battietta, thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate it. Okay, thank right, you. Thanks.